Look, hello, everybody. Hello. I haven't done this for a while, but I am doing this because uh, this is a good Joe. And I'm delighted to be here to support Joe Sestak, and I'm glad you are, too. Let me just tell you a couple things. One, I respect this man because he has the courage of his convictions. The courage of his convictions. You know, he's not a Democrat because it's convenient. He's not a Democrat out of political calculation. He's a Democrat in his heart. He, we share the same principles. You know where Joe Sestak's going to be on health care reform. You know where he's going to be on energy independence. You know where he's going to be on global warming. You know where he's going to be on an economic recovery plan that leaves no people behind. It helps not just the rich, but all Americans. And that's why you want Joe Sestak, a guy you know where he's going to stand. Yes. Yeah. I'm also here for Joe because he's got the courage to stand up to the political establishment. I've been there. I know the phone calls are coming. I know there are a lot of folks in the political status quo that don't like primaries, don't like these challenges. Well, I disagree. I think it's these primaries, I think it's these challenges that energize democracy, that give people a choice, that get people out and active and involved. And Joe Sestak, he's not buckling under the political establishment. You know he's going to be there for you. You know he's going to stand up for you. You know he's a fighter. And he's going to be there for Pennsylvania. Yeah. I just uh, took the Excella down and got a little tour of um, Independence Hall and looked at the Liberty Bell and I was just thinking as I was walking around there, Joe, that you know the Founding Fathers, when they thought about what type of political leaders they wanted, when they thought about what type of a legislator, what type of a continental Congress they wanted right here at Independence Hall, I'm not sure that they wanted career politicians. I'm not sure they wanted a political class telling us what to do. I think they liked the idea of a citizen legislature. I think they liked the idea of having a legislature. Back then it was soldiers and farmers and small business people. And today I think what they'd like is Joe Sestak. He's a man who hasn't, he's devoted his life to public service, a family, Navy family, devoted his life in the military for 30 years, and now he's devoting his life to the people of Pennsylvania. I think when he comes to the halls of Congress, you know, when he sits there as a Navy man, a man who has served, and he's there in the Armed Services Committee, when he's there in the Senate Armed Services Committee, and we're talking about questions of war and peace, or we're talking about Afghanistan, we're talking about Pakistan and Iran, when Joe Sestak talks, all those folks who have devoted their entire lives as legislators and attorney generals and prosecutors and now senators, they can listen to a man who's had a real life experience. I think that's what our founding fathers wanted. I think it makes our Congress stronger. I think it means that you'll have a strong representative, a voice for working people in the U.S. Senate. I am so pleased to introduce to you Joe Sestak. Yay!